Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is the 14th of September. Actually, it's my sister's birthday. I need to give her a call. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, getting some sun on the panels, which is good. Uh, we're running on solar right now. Uh, we had two days of all day rain. And uh, I mean, the batteries held up fine, but uh, you know, I didn't use the batteries a lot. Uh, yesterday, I kind of just stayed focused on using the um, the generator. Uh, I called this morning, and uh, they gave me the number of the guy. And I know it's only two weeks, and I'm like chomping at the bit already on these on the building. But uh, he told me um, usually it's three to four weeks. Then he gets a call. They bring it to him, and then he's a deliverer. And look who's coming home from school. There she is. Hi, Heather. Stop it. Put that down. Hi. So anyway, um, the uh, so he says that once he gets it, hold on one second. It's on me. It's not on you. Relax yourself. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that was good. Oh, okay, yeah, so here we are, okay. Talk about our apple trees up here. I'm gonna focus in on these so you can see what we got. Yes, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Now, there you go. Now you can see we got a freaking ton of apples there. I'm gonna bring it over here so you can see these. Look at all those apples. Okay, so we have, and that, let me just kinda give you the rundown here. Um, this in front's an apple tree, back there's an apple tree. This one is an apple tree, so is that. An apple tree there. Hey sweetheart, how are you doing? Doing a video. Um, got a couple more apple trees down here on this end of the property. So, we have quite a few apple trees out front and you can tell, um, I'll just come up under here so you can kind of see them this way too. They're freaking loaded. Absolutely loaded. So. Yep, we got a ton of apples. So anyway, um, so that's kind of cool. Um, we also have the grapes, the wild grapes that grow everywhere too. But, uh, and then actually this tree right here on the corner is an apple tree as well. So, huh? And there's come Soxie to greet Heather. She says, hello. There she is. So anyway, I was buddy had put the cats out um, the other night. I'll tell you this real quick. It was pretty interesting. Um, I come out and I'm looking like, what's he got? And he had a freaking mouse that he had just killed. And he sat right there and ate the whole thing. I was like, okay, good for you, doing your job and taking care of it. So that was good. Um, I went and checked the PO box today, and I was expecting something. And I'll show you. And yes, I will fly this. Just just more for fun than anything else. Uh, And there's Lucy chilling in the sun. Yes. Yes. Are you chilling? Huh? Are you chilling in the sun? Are you chilling in the sun? Yeah, we didn't see her yesterday, but she's back today. Okay, here, Heather, would you hold this for me a second, sweetheart? Okay, so what came in the mail? Got a new flag. Oh, uh, upside down flag. Upside down. The Jolly Roger. So somebody asked me if if, if they if I sent if they sent me the Jolly Roger, would I fly it? And I said, sure, why not? Because we are pirates. Apparently. We are pirates, yes. Um, so yep, we have the Jolly Roger now. And uh, so it? It's on the ground right over there. Oh, okay. Would you grab that and just throw it in the fire pit, babe? Well, hold on. So anyway, um if there's Heather loves the cats. You're an animal person, aren't you? Yeah. You looking forward to when we have the chickens and the goats and stuff? Yeah, the neighbor's dogs on the street when I was walking by, uh -huh. they were all coming over me and they are making me cut them. Yeah, oh, yeah, they do that. Yeah. They're like, hi. So anyway, um, so today's a much nicer day. It's about 72, um, nice sunny day. Like I said, the last two days were really, really freaking cold. Cold, wet, and rainy. So it's a prelim to what's coming. 
So like I said, we're just right now we're waiting on the building. And uh, so I'm looking at maybe three weeks before the building gets here. So it could we could even be into um, first part of October before it gets here. So we'll do what we got to do and we'll get it done. So anyway, that's kind of it for that. Um, somebody asked me if I had already ordered the block. And I hadn't yet. Um, I actually talked to the guy. And um, basically what he said, you know, because we do have the area flattened out and leveled here, that... Um, he goes, we roll it off, he says, and then we put it up on blocks as we go. And so he was kind of giving me his recommendation because this is what he does. And so I told him I, I'd like to have at least, um, you know, 24 inches of clearance so I can get underneath. And he said, that's not a problem at all. So, um, and he gave me an idea how many blocks we needed and stuff like that. So that's absolutely cool. I can, not a problem with that at all. Um, so that was cool. But uh, like I said, so we're just kind of. Just kind of hanging. The kids just got home from school. Eddie's already inside. And like I said, you just saw how they're walking down the street. Eddie leaves later than she does and gets home first. So that's kind of how that kind of goes. But uh, all right, so we're just having a mellow Monday. I'm excited about tomorrow to go to the doctors. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we are going to go from there. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. And, you know, thank you all uh, for your well wishes and your support. I appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, I know that, like, I want to talk real quick before I sign off here um, about the 9-11 video I did. And I know I got a lot of negative feedback from that, which is fine. I mean, you know what? Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and that's and that's fine, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, people are going to think what they want to think. You're going to, you know, believe what you want to believe, and that's perfectly fine. And that's what makes the world go wrong. I told somebody that in my comment. I said, well, that's what makes the world go wrong, believe in what you want to believe. And, you know, if it makes you feel safer to believe something else, that's fine. I mean, and, and I'm not saying I'm right. Please, don't don't ever think that I'm belittling anybody else's uh, views or anything like that. Everybody has the right to believe whatever they want as far as 9-11 goes. I just, the, the event is a tragic loss of life, and it's also was uh, the first step in us losing our rights as, as uh, citizens of the United States that we gave up willingly in the guise of freedom. So, you know, and now here we are getting ready to bring 70,000 at least Syrian refugees here. Why? Why we have all these Arab countries and they're not taking anybody, you know? That's how you c did it on its own. I see that. Um, Stupid and grateful flag. <laughs> the flag had gotten twisted over here. And Heather was going to try to straighten it out, and it straightened it out itself on its own. <laughs> so, got all the flags are flying. Uh, yeah. Well, that one, yes. That'll, we'll have to figure out someplace special for the Jolly Roger. Maybe. I don't know the camper. No, not, maybe in the building. Maybe we'll, on this building. Maybe we'll put the Jolly Roger on the building. But anyway, um, so, you know, you have all these Arab countries that could take these people in. Why aren't they taking them in? You know, it's 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 ridiculous, but you know, we're you know the Western people are going to save everybody, and then they're going to come here with their views and their beliefs and their religion and try to impose their will on us that we should conform because they're Muslim and they have a different agenda. You know what? I don't care what religion anybody is. Human beings are human beings, but if there are you know they're all the Muslims are all together, why aren't they taking their own people in culturally? And everything like that it'd be better if they were staying over there with the different countries but they're not so I, I don't know it's a manipulation once again and uh, you know we try to be the policemen of the world and support and take care of everybody which is kind of nuts but what are you gonna do so anyway that's my rant for today that's it I'm gonna let you go hear that breeze beautiful uh, we got some leaves changing and so I changed it up again <laughs> All right, listen, guys, I'm going to let you go. Prepper Nurse went out for now.